backstage for Shrek. Um, let me show you some of the cool things that we've made for the show. Let me show you Shrek's Swamp Hut. It's actually part of the larger swamp that we've built out into the extension of the theater. Um, so here's his hut. Structural. It's his little house. It is made in the same way that we've made our pit extension here. Um, it's several platforms put together, covered with chicken wire, and then over that we've put several layers of muslin fabric dipped in mache, and then over that we sprayed several layers of different values of gray, green, purple, brown, pretty much everything to create a really rocky, organic texture. My half. I help her see princess. I didn't have to work. I didn't have to do We put a door in here so Shrek can get in and out so he can make his transition from young Shrek to older Shrek in the first song, Big Bright Beautiful World. It's not a big, bright, beautiful world. This is Fiona's castle, um, which is guarded by a fire-breathing dragon. This is the setting for Fiona's song, I Know It's Today, where we get her life story about um, how she's been waiting for her prince her entire life, and how she knows that any day he could come. This is the Dulac castle. This is where Farquaad lives. Um, he actually comes out of these nice little doors, trick doors, here, to reveal his short stature. I'd invite you to the wedding, but you have to be this tall to get in. <laughs> these were cool. We had these doors from Spam a lot last year, and we just cut into them to make a little gag, a little sight gag here. Um, we also reused the castle toppers from yeah. Camelot, and we tried to give this a really cold industrial look as opposed to the warmth in um, Fiona's castle. Because Shrek takes place in a fairy tale land and a lot of the characters are cartoons, we had to come up with some creative ways to get some of the famous characters across. This is the puppet I made for Jinji. Um, he's not quite done in the face, but he's almost done. How I made him is I bought um, the foam they use in cushions. It's kind of hard to see. Um, it's about three inches thick. I cut out Jinji's shape and I covered it with brown felt. In it, I made, I cut a hole in the foam and cut slits so she could control his mouth. He has a strap on the back that will connect him to her forearm. So the actress who plays Jinji can have him on her arm the entire time while she dances. This is the barn where Donkey sees Fiona turn into her ogre self for the first time. For this, we just made a few flats, put them up, and painted them to look like the inside of a barn. Here is the freak flag we made for the song Freak Flag from the Fairy Tale Creatures, featuring Pinocchio. Some torches that we made. Um, they're actually made out of gel. We have about 10 of these. These are pretty fun. These took forever. Here are the three blind mice canes. We just took normal show canes and painted them to look like blind. You gotta make a move. You gotta make a move. So this is the fire pit for when Donkey, Shrek, and Fiona are traveling in the forest. Um, we needed something really simple, just for a few scenes. So this just has a light bulb and a fan. And it's really... Fire? No fire. Fire? No fire. This is Fiona and Farquaad's wedding altar used in one of the last scenes um, where they do the big royal wedding. Um, it has a set of matching stairs on either side with the same designs on it and it's a really nice piece to have because the whole cast is on stage and it really puts emphasis on the main characters. People of Dula, we gather here today to bear witness to the union of our new king and queen. Well, that's a little bit about of the backstage of Shrek. The show dates are February 6th and 7th with a matinee on the 7th. Uh, tickets are $12 and are available at arts.bcsc.org or in the high school performing arts office.
We hope you come out and see the show.